So the next iPad web browser we're going to review is Duo Browser. And it has the same kind of uh, split screen interface. Let's see. Yep. Again, you drag the divider to go between each, uh, to resize the window panes. And I like this. They have a one click to full screen button, which I think is very important for dual screen browsers. OK, let's check out the keyboard. Let's go to Wall Street Journal. So they do have the dot com. Uh, shortcut button, which they should have. I don't know why they left it out of the uh, Duet browser that we reviewed previously. So overall, the experience is pretty smooth. Um, one thing lacking here is to create extra tabs that was in Duet browser. So that's a plus for Duet browser. Um, in the in the settings. It's great that you can change the color theme if you're into that. Uh, you can select the default search engine, which is a plus. Let's go to the general settings. And this is pretty cool. I find this is quite important sometimes. You want to, uh, this browser allows you to, to um, disguise itself as a desktop instead of an iPad. Because if you go to some websites, they might send you to a mobile web page, which is normally uh, more limited compared to the desktop version. So this is great. You can set it to be Safari on a desktop, for example, or we can just stick to the original. Uh, you can do the brightness adjustments, um, clearing cookies on off. So these are uh, very important settings that I think is, is useful to have. Let's close this advertisement. So what's missing here is I don't seem, unless I'm missing it, I don't seem to be able to find a share button. So if I wanted to post this uh, or clip anything or, or send it to Safari or email a link to a page, can't do it. So I got to say this web browser, um, I don't think it can match up to the other dual screen browsers that we've seen so far. Uh, it doesn't have tabs, doesn't have a share button, um, it does have a little bit more in terms of settings, but I mean, we don't use this very often. So, so I guess um, to summarize, in the four split screen browsers that we've seen so far, I think if you want a simple one, browser duo would be fine. Um, Duet browser has got more features in the sense that you can create more um, tabs within each of the split screens. Um, yeah, so overall, I think get Duet browser or browser duo if you want an alternate browser when you're going to be visiting um, two screens. So I just wanted to show you an example of when a, a dual screen browser would come in handy. Um, let me go to landscape mode. So this is interesting. So uh, when I want to edit a post on a, on a blog post, for example, I can, I can type my edits on one side of the screen. Um, and then when I, when I click on preview, I can go back to the draft version and then hit refresh. And then I can see the edit on the other side without having to close this window. So this is one instance of where a dual screen browser would come in handy. And the other thing is, like if you're watching a video here and you want to surf uh, Facebook, for example, then that's also a handy example of when a dual screen browser would come in handy. So that's it for the uh, dual screen browsers that I have so far. If there are other ones that you find have any, any additional features that are worth checking out, please let me know. If not, we're going to move on to the next video in the playlist. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the playlist. And um, let's check out some of the more heavy-duty web browsers for the iPad.